Hey everyone, so I'm going to jump right in here and this video is going to be about headline ads and it's going to be interesting because I'm going to show you an example of a product with variations and how we actually only have one headline running for it. So I think a common misconception is, you know, you, you have a lot of sponsored products for your ASIN, especially ones with variations, you know, you'll have five to 10 campaigns for every single ASIN. And a lot of people think that you should do the same thing for sponsored brands, where you should have a headline for every variation and, and have a bunch of them. And in some cases that is true, but I also want to show you how a lot of times headlines, headlines can overlap a lot easier than sponsored products because there's only one headline per page. So that's where you can keep it very, very simple. And I want to show you guys how this can work and kind of how, again, to, to wrap your head around the, the goal of headline ads. So first of all, some background on this product here. It, it took off in Q4 of last year, right? So this is, this is for one product, one parent ASIN with four variations in it, um, just different count, count sizes. So it's the same product, but have different, it has different counts. So Q4 of last year, and for sponsored products alone, it was doing about 50K a month at about 14% ACOS. And this is from seven campaigns for sponsored products, 50K a month. Now, if I go over to sponsored brands, we had one sponsored brand running, one headline ad, we're gonna ignore videos for now. We had one headline ad running that was doing, in December, it did about 14K, but look at the ACOS when we started on this. So we, we set up this campaign late in the year, we hadn't had one running, the ACOS started at 90%, 90%, then it went to 80, 80. And the best it's been has been 40% ACOS. And this is a product that runs at 13% ACOS. But the goal of headline ads, and this is a bestseller, okay? So that's where I need you to know too is, is once you're a bestseller, and let me jump into this headline campaign here and show you what I'm talking about. Again, we have seven sponsored products. We have a bunch of campaigns running. If I jump into this headline ad, guys, all of these sales are coming from three keywords. Three keywords, $7 bids, exact matches. Cost per clicks here are over $2 cost per click. They're averaging about $2.50 cost per click for this one headline. If I go back to my sponsored products for this product, Cost per click is about 80 cents. So think about this again. And I'm gonna bring up an example here and just jump right in here to the to the front of the page. So let me let me get this out of the way here. Okay. So I'm gonna think about men's socks, because this is a variation listing, right? And for that headline and that example that I'm showing you, we bet on those three exact keywords because that's about 80% of the market right there are those three exact keywords, okay? So what we wanna do is just all about dominating that space. We're paying $7 a click, or we're bidding $7 because we don't want anyone else to show up here in this top spot because men's socks and maybe, you know, men's socks ankle, men's socks blank, black, maybe those are our three, our three keywords that we wanna dominate. No phrase match, no broad match. Find your best keywords. And if you have a best seller, you absolutely need to keep the headline spot for that. Um, but you need to think of it because that headline ad is just kind of fueling the fire, right? So what people do is they'll see the headline ad, but what you need to do is have your ads right below that as well. So it's all about getting the customer to see your ad multiple times. So with the headline ads, you go super, super hard on those exact matches for your top, your most popular keywords, right? And maybe you'll get clicks and maybe the conversion won't be there, but then all of a sudden the customer is gonna see you again down here and likely click on this and convert on this. So if you can get multiple ads at the top of the page, that's what we're going after. And the biggest thing is when you think about headline ads, they have that metric in there, new to brand, right? Percent of sales new to brand, 
Because that's kind of what headline ads are, is they get people thinking about your brand and thinking about being a repeat customer and coming back and continuing to buy your product. Okay, so that's what we're doing is just exact matches. But really quickly, I want to get you guys thinking for another strategy. So I said the biggest thing here is overlapping. Okay, so let's pretend that I did have socks. And if I were to do this, if I had men's socks, right? And I have my best sellers. I want to bid on this an exact match with my best variations right now. Now, if I have a bunch of different colors of socks and I want to push my black socks, what I would do is bid on this and make sure that I'm only bid on this, bidding on this an exact match, have a slightly different headline here, and only have my black socks running. But when I bid on my best keyword, my high volume one, I want I want some different, I want my white ones, I want my gray ones showing, I want my best selling variation showing here. But then you kind of have, you have levels of headline ads. But the biggest thing I want to get across here is only have one big one. I see a lot of people where they have like five headlines, all bidding on one high volume keyword and phrase match. And there's so much overlap and there's there's too much data to go through. So you need to lock in on your best keywords, keep one headline running for it, and put all of your budget into that one. And then if you have colors, men's socks red. So now I'll have a different headline for red, right? And this is why I'm saying exact match because these guys have the same headline for men's socks as they do for men's socks red. So we don't want that. We want our red sock showing here. And then we don't want our red sock showing here, right? So you really need to think how the customer sees headlines because they only see one. That's why these are so important. And that's why when I come into a lot of new accounts, I will pause a lot of headlines and say, hey, let's just focus on this one. Because in the end, once you get one good one running, it, it can just dominate pages okay so to wrap this up moral of the story here if you have variation listings focus on one headline with your top exact match keywords and then set up some more lower volume headlines with your long tail keywords with your colors with your sizes right and put those in exact match but right now i think exact match is king for headline ads